to part 2 of this project. Let's decorate the front of this box with polymer clay. First, I trace the coffin box on a sheet of baking paper. For this creepy tree, I start off creating the tree trunk and adding details. I created the roots and the branches and added details to them as well. I have always loved trees and how majestic they look. I've been drawing trees for a while, but I've never attempted creating a tree out of clay. To make the tree look more creepy, I created little skulls and added them to the tree. I had a lot of fun creating these little skulls, so you might see them back in my Etsy shop sometime next year. And this is the tree. Let's bake this thing. I decided I wanted a background for the tree on the box and I figured a moon and a grassy field would keep the creepy dark vibe going. So here is me painting the moon and then when it's all finished I am adding some grass. After baking, I painted the tree with dark brown paint and rubbed on Inca gold in the color Old Gold to bring out the details of the tree. I love working with this stuff. If it dries out, you can reactivate it with water and the little goes a long way. You can use it on basically any surface. I painted the skulls white. Added details with black paint. Finally made the apple red and that's all the painting done. To make the background look like a night sky I added stars by flicking the brush with watered down white acrylic paint. And now to glue on the tree. I love how it all comes together. As a finishing touch, I added foam moss and I am in love with how it turned out. And that is it for part 2 of this project and with all that, it's all done. I've spent about 7 hours in total on this box, but I had a blast creating it. I will put part 1 of this project in the end card so you can see how I created the inside of the box. 
I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!